Hi guys. Happy October 25th. It is Medieval Folk Sunday, and today's album is The Moors. were a pagan duo from Boston that released one album. Their music blends goth rock, Celtic folk, ambient music. This album is similar to last Thursday's album in that it sounds like a combination of Dead Can Dance and Cocktail Twins. A review of this album in Obsidian Magazine details the band and their music better than I could write, so I'll read an excerpt. One of the most common forms of praise the Moors receive is the surprise registered when people recognize it's only two people. The multi-layered guitar sounds and effects created by Scott Dakota and the haunting vocals and skilled woodwinds of Shirin Nick Maka often conjure the image of a much larger group of musicians, or at the very least, a studio-driven concoction that cannot be recreated in a live setting. While Shirin Nick Masha does her own gorgeous backing vocals on the CD, and these, alas, cannot be duplicated live. Dakota's elaborate creations upon his custom, fretless guitar depend upon a carefully orchestrated system of computerized sound loops and intricate maneuvering on his instrument. But dependent as the band is upon the modern wizardry of technology to create its rich sound, the ultimate effect of the music of the Moors is one of which owes everywhere. The music of the Moors is one which owes everything to the versatile talents and visions of its creators and to the age-old dreams, stories, legends, and magics that inspire them. I'll leave a link to go read this review, as you should. It details pretty great the music in this album. But your job now is to go listen and enjoy. Oh, Reggie, no.